Hello, this is the fifth video of a preliminary series on sets, permutations and combinations for OCR AS discrete further maths. In this, we introduce combinations. If there are five different pizza toppings available and I want to choose three different toppings to go on my pizza, how many different pizzas could I make? You may remember that for permutations or arrangements, order did matter. However, in this scenario, when we are making a selection, order does not matter, and therefore it's referred to as a combination. Let's denote the toppings by the letters A through to E. If we are only choosing three of them, these are the options. Could we have worked these out without listing these ten? When we looked at permutations, we looked at filling the slots. So, for example, our first topping would be chosen from five, and then the second from a choice of four, and then the third from a choice of three, which you might think was 60. But we want different combinations with three objects chosen from five, and we already know that the answer is 10 from our listing. So, although we had that the number of arrangements or permutations would indeed have been 5 factorial over 2 factorial or 60, how many of these same objects were just written in a different order? If we think about ABC, there are 3 factorial permutations of these letters. So, this will be the same for all our choices of 3 letters. Therefore, we need to divide by 3 factorial to find the number of different combinations. So when we are talking about how many different combinations you can make with 3 objects chosen from 5, whilst the number of arrangements or permutations where order did matter was 5 factorial over 2 factorial, or in effect 5 times 4 times 3, when we're talking about combinations and the order doesn't matter, we need to divide by 3 factorial again, and that would give us our 10 that we got through listing. Well, what about 5 chosen from 7? How would we work that out? And R chosen from N? To generalise, we use NCR, which is also a button on your calculator which will give us n factorial over r factorial brackets n minus r factorial to work out any number r chosen from n as a combination. Note this also relates to binomial coefficients and Pascal's triangle in the core pure maths AS syllabus. If a tennis coach has a squad of players called Anne, Brad, Carl, Diane, Eric, Florence, Guy and Hattie, or A through H, that's eight players of which he wants to pick four of them for a tournament team. In how many ways could he do this? Since order does not matter here, it's a combinations problem rather than a permutations problem. The answer is simply eight, choose four. You can use the button on your calculator, or you can write it out as being 8 factorial divided by 4 factorial, 8 minus 4 factorial. Either way, it works out at 70. You may see this written as 8, 4. At a second example of combinations with restrictions. A subcommittee is to be chosen from the members of the town council. The council has 10 representatives from the north side of the town and 8 from the south. Many different subcommittees are possible. Let's think about this in two sections and then multiply. We know that there are 10 people from the north, of which we need to choose 3. And then we know that there are 8 from the south, of which we need to choose 2. If we work those two out using our calculator, we would get this answer here. 
This is another example on the applications of permutations and combinations. So if we have seven different vintage cars, three red and four silver, that are to be parked in a row, in how many ways can we parked so that the red cars are together? Questions we might ask are, is it a simple permutation or combination problem? Does order matter here? Well, it is not actually just a permutation or a combination, because the red cars need to be together. And order does not matter other than that. A good trick we can use here is to, in effect, glue the three red cars together and then arrange them with the four silver cars so that we have five objects to arrange. Rather than thinking of seven objects and then trying to remove the options where the red cars are not together, the boxes or slots would now look a little bit like this with the three red cars glued together being one object, which can of course be moved around. However, we need to remember that the red cars are all different and also to be, need to be arranged within their block. For three objects, we know that there are three factorial ways to arrange these. And then of course, for the five objects of which the three red cars are one object, there are five factorial ways to arrange those. So all in all, we have three factorial times five factorial or 720 ways to arrange. For this problem, where five members from a squad of 12 are to be chosen for team, and we want to know how many teams are possible if Dave and Colin won't play in the same team, we will look at two methods. Team, the order, doesn't matter. So it's more of a combination than the permutation. But it is not that simple. Here is the first method. We can look at the three possibilities. Teams with Dave, but not including Colin. Teams with Colin, but not including Dave and teams with neither Colin nor Dave. Next, by using combinations, we can work out how many teams there are for each of these three possibilities. So if a team has Dave but not Colin, then two choices have been made, and therefore there are four squad members to choose from the ten other people. Similarly, for teams with Colin but not Dave. Where you have a team that's going to have neither Colin nor Dave, you have reduced the squad um, you're choosing from to 10, and you're going to make five choices from that. The solution is then found by adding together the values of these three possibilities, and you will find that it totals 672. So the second solution is to look at the teams that do not contain both Colin and Dave. So the total number of teams possible will be from a squad of 12, choosing 5, 12 choose 5, and then take away the total number of teams containing both of them. So if you've chosen both of them, you've got 10 choices um, 10 squad members left to choose from and you're only choosing three more players. So that would be 10 choose 3. You would now subtract one from the other. You would find the same answer of 672. This was the last of the preliminary series videos.